Yo, what's going on everybody? Quan Incredible here. And uh, this is a video that's really weird to make. I feel like as like a Black Clover centered YouTuber. Uh, and I don't want this to turn into like a big bash Black Clover video or a big I hate Black Clover video. I, that is not the purpose of this. I really just want to make this so like myself as well as other people can kind of just voice their opinions about what they dislike about the series. And I'm not talking about anything like extremely petty like oh I hate that Charmy eats a lot like I not nothing petty like that I'm talking about like actual things that bother you about the story of Black Clover that's mostly what I'm getting at, at uh, here because as we all know there's no such thing as a, as a perfect story like I mean stories can come pretty darn close and there can be things that we like or stories that we like a lot but I feel like saying something is absolutely perfect is just a lie you are lying to yourself at least that's what I think now, if you're one of those people that think Black Clover is absolutely perfect and there's nothing wrong with it at all and Tabata can do no wrong, you should probably leave the video because this is not going to be the video for you. Um, so, there are lots of things that I dislike a Black Clover that I dislike. Ooh, I can't talk. There are lots of things that I dislike about Black Clover, but I'm really going to try to narrow it down to only a few uh, just for the sake of keeping the video short and just not to turn and so this doesn't turn into a big rant but I'll just get into it with the very first thing that I dislike about the uh, story. I think I want to say I only do do three. I, I'm only going to do three. But the first thing I dislike about the story is how um, how the story is really centered around the Black Bulls. And now before you like say, of course, the story is going to be centered around the Black Bulls because of Austin, just, just listen to what I have to say about this. Like the story is so hyper centered around the Black Bulls that like no one else has the opportunity to do anything important and that kind of bothers me a little bit like i mean granted the other captains have very very small moments of shine but for the most part the black bulls kind of do literally everything in the story and we don't get to see the other squads do anything and when we do get to see the other squads they look trash like they look actually trash when we get to see them do things like when you talk about squad strength or, or like who's the strongest squad it's like the black bulls the golden dawn and then literally the other seven squads just tied for last place because like they don't do anything <laughs> um like if you look at the elf invasion like we got the whole black bull squad leading a a, a freaking huge giant black bulls base a megazord to the capital stopping elves and just trying to save the the kingdom and fighting in the uh, capital what were the other squads doing like we know the golden dawn were like elves and random members of other squads were also elves but like where was the green mantis what were they doing or what was the freaking ozzy or deer doing we have no idea like even just a panel i'm not saying i wanted a freaking whole chapter based on the purple orcas fighting elves in the capital i don't want that but at least like just a panel of showing a squad rallying together to handle elves or just a small like five minute not even five minutes like 30 seconds of just seeing another squad holding down some elves would have been nice to see like just getting to see that other squads can do things too would be very interesting because even in the crystal exam the other squads looked garbage the only squads that looked impressive in the exam was the golden dawn and the black bulls i mean i mean grant kirsch looked impressive but that was really about it i mean of course real's gonna look impressive because he's a, he's a captain but like those other squads just look so trash they look so trash and that just kind of bothered me um because it's, it's like other stories can do really well with showing that other people are capable um one Piece used to be really good at this, in my opinion, like that showing that other people were capable, such as with the Supernova seemed to be really impressive. I, I'm kind of iffy on how it is now, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, like Bleach, Bleach was a really good example of this, in my opinion, like the other captains uh, of Bleach got to do a lot. And I feel like a lot of the members of the other squads kind of got to do a lot. Granted, it did get kind of hyper-focused around, or not hyper-focused, but it did get kind of focused down on uh, Kenpachi squad. I feel like those guys did a lot more than other people, but at least it was kind of spaced out where there was always like one or two people in every other squad that kind of did something. Like as of right now, like we don't know any relevant members of the Purple Orcas. Like we don't know any relevant members of the Azir Deer. We don't know any relevant members of the Green Man. It's like I could go in and don't, 
don't nobody say Seki. Do not say Seki. I would like Seki if you could if you could even use Seki, honestly. Like if Seki could actually do something relevant, that would be hype. I don't want to hear anything about him saving the, the king because that's clearly a gag, you know what I mean. But I'm not gonna spend any more time on this topic because I need to move on for the sake of time for the video. And it's, it's starting to turn into a rant, and that's not what I wanted. Moving on to the second thing about Black Clover that I dislike is how no one really ever questions Asta's ability or abilities, which it just seems so weird. Like I thought in the very beginning when he got that, you know, the strange five leaf clover grimoire uh, and that old man sent him to the capital, like he noticed, like he, he definitely noticed. And even in the exam, it kind of seemed like William noticed a little bit, but outside of that, no one else has ever really said, at least especially in the beginning of, uh, of the story. I mean, now people are kind of starting to take note to the anti-magic, but like in the beginning of the story, no one questioned about how this random peasant just has a anti-magic sword that can just cancel out magic. Like nobody questioned it at all. Like you would think that would raise some questions just a little bit. Like, like just a little bit, you would think like, oh man, this dude, this dude's sword it just cancels magic like I feel like that would be a really 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 big deal especially to random people like that should be huge like people like Klaus or 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 random captains or such they should be like whoa what is going on uh, now you can make the argument that they didn't know at the exam that his magic or not that his magic that, that his sword completely canceled magic you could kind of make that argument but I really feel like more so in the future, such as like at the um, at, at when they were awarding stars at that banquet, um, like kind of when he when Asta was more into the the limelight. I feel like it would have been more of a big deal, especially when Julius got the chance got, got the chance to for, like firsthand hold his sword and was kind of impressed by the fact that one it was mad heavy, but the fact that it was draining his magic. I feel like that should have caused more commotion almost and even even Asta's like his black form because like we know that like uh more so recently in the story especially in the uh in the anime for recently uh Asta's being under fire for being a you know in cahoots with the devil and he, he has this whole black form showing it and that was a big deal during his uh, trial is when he went to save Marie he transformed into his black form like oh my gosh look it, it's it's the devil he has dark powers and all that and it's like yes but at the same time when he transformed in the crystal exam augustus was there there was tons of magic knights there no one even batted an eye to the fact that he took on this extremely demonic form and was erasing the magic like no like no one cared augustus you didn't care a little bit you could make the argument that like he's an idiot but still i feel like someone should have cared about asta's abilities like he doesn't question him his own squad doesn't question him like nobody questions his his ability to just erase magic and look like a devil it just it was so crazy it's the weirdest thing like you would think somebody would say something and now moving on to the last one because i don't i don't i don't want to talk about that one anymore because that, that one kind of makes me mad but the third one is it isn't necessarily an issue yet per se but i could see it being a potential issue um i don't know how many of you watch the black clover versus everybody podcast shout out to them you should definitely sub to joe's case channel and check it out every thursday and sunday and a couple other random days it is really good put the link to it right here so you can see it but anyway i want to say a couple podcasts ago we briefly touched on it towards the end of one and it's the over usage of asta's uh, anti-magic swords now what I mean by that is I feel like Asta's swords are the answer too often. And like, if, you know, I, I understand how people will say like, well, of course they're going to be used often. He's the main character and this is his ability, which yes, I will agree with you. It is the main character. It is his ability. It kind of makes sense that it would be the reason he wins so much. But like the fact that it's always kind of like the main goal or the main strategy kind of bothers me especially this late into the series because if you look at it like that's kind of the, the main goal here like when the fight against the word devil there at the end of the uh of the uh elf arc it was like the main idea here was like okay we just need asta to cut him with the anti-magic sword and then he'll be defeated or if you look at how to even save all the elves like okay we just need asta to get his anti-magic sword to just undo everybody and it's like 
or like if you even take uh before all that stuff you could take um when they were fighting against veto in the underwater sea temple like okay uh the key here is definitely asta sword we just need to stab him with it and it's like or take in the witch's forest uh oh to beat the salamander we just need the anti-magic sword to run through it or to beat ladros it's like oh the key to beating ladros is anti-magic it's just like the key always seems to be stab them or cut them with asta's sword and it's like that's going to get stale eventually and 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 that's the same and that's exactly what josuke said that i really agreed with is that like you might not be able to see it now but that's going to get stale in the future like i'm not saying he has to like beat somebody up with his bare hands or something but just kind of thinking of another way to do it or another way to apply it would be good to see because like it's 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 just gonna get stale trust me like it's just like how he said in dragon ball z it seemed like the only way to win a fight is to get a new transformation and look how stale that is if you don't think that the over usage of getting new transformations is stale in dragon ball z i don't know what to say to you <laughs> i do not know what to say to you if you think that is not stale yet um, but yeah, it's just like that that is going to get old really fast in my opinion um, But yeah, those are basically my main things that I dislike of black clover about black clover Of course, I love the series I wouldn't have a whole channel centered around the series if I hated it That would be some kind of weird self torture that I'm not quite into so <laughs> But yeah, I, I enjoy the series. There's lots of things I like about it But I do think it is important to like reflect on the series and think about things that you dislike about it Because I mean, you know, it's, it's the things that we dislike and like about it that make us be able to fully appreciate it As I was saying earlier, there's no series that are absolutely perfect um, Down below, I am very curious to know what you guys dislike about Black Clover Again, like I said, I don't want this to be like a super huge hating, hateful bash on Black Clover Nor do I want it to be like really petty things such as like, oh, I don't like that Yami's always pooping. Actually, I'd let that one slide. Yami's always pooping is really annoying. That actually is annoying. But anyway, like I said, let me know down below what you guys dislike about the series. Um, make sure you guys like the video. Sub to the channel. Appreciate all you guys' support. We're getting super close to 1,000. I know I keep saying that, but that's because it's important to say. Because I want us to get there. I want to get there. It's going to be hype. Um, but yeah, like I said... Appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you in my next video.